In this tutorial, we will open some point cloud data in the FME Data Inspector, review some tools for viewing the data, and show two different ways to query the point cloud. To follow along, download the granvilleisland.laz file attached to this article. Start the Inspector application from your FME Desktop Program Group and select a dataset to view by clicking the Open Dataset icon. In the Open Dataset dialog, select the point cloud format of your data, LAS in this case, and browse to the dataset. Here you also set the coordinate system details. Once the parameters have been set, click OK to load the dataset into the FME Data Inspector. By default, Point cloud data is shown in 3D mode, and a color ramp is automatically applied based on the Z values of the points. Once the point cloud dataset is open, ensure the view is in 3D mode, and if not, enable 3D mode using the view menu or the icon. Let's rotate this point cloud by using the orbit mode tool. Click on the tool and drag the mouse in the view window to rotate the point cloud. Now we will review the two ways to query point cloud data. First, using the information tool, click and drag to window an area in the point cloud. Windowing any area displays attributes of the entire point cloud in the feature information window. Because FME considers one point cloud, to be a single feature, attributes that describe the entire point cloud will be displayed. In the middle of the window is the attribute list, which typically shows a combination of user attributes plus what we call format attributes that FME populates when reading the data. These attributes carry additional information about the dataset that may be useful during a transformation. Lower down in the window, you will see the geometry shown as IFME point cloud with a special point cloud icon. Within the geometry, a hierarchy of any point cloud components which exist in the data will be shown, along with their data type. The second way to query a point cloud allows us to view the components of an individual point cloud. So this time, click on an individual point. You may need to zoom in closer with the Zoom tool first to see the individual points. At a minimum, you will see the X, Y, and Z coordinates of the point. If there are other components present, such as intensity or color, etc., these will be shown as well. We have now read and inspected some LAS data with FME. In the next video, we will discuss other point cloud formats handled by FME.